for the K and the 43, that second number, so I can copy it down, enter, and then percentify it, number group, percentify, add a couple decimals, fill handle, double click it down. So now we've got the percents and the total then should add up to 100. I'm gonna delete this to give me my check number, which shouldn't just be 300 divided by 300, but alt enter, summing it up. And so that adds up then to uh, 100. So, so then of course I can do my frequency distribution and make a uh, make a chart based on this, right? I can take this if I so choose and say we're going to then pick that up and then insert. This time I'm gonna do a bar chart, charts, bar, bar chart, chart, boom. And there's our uh, frequency. I'm gonna do what we typically do and go to my data on the bar charts and adjust the columns to pick up our columns from zero to 40 and enter. And so there's our frequency. You get, you could see you have a similar. You have a a a similar look to what we had up top, except except the bins are different, right? We 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 have bins of uh, of the the numbers here, whereas the bins here are point oh two to point oh three and so on. So if I want to compare like to like then I could adjust this histogram and I can just, I could adjust the bends on it. So if I go into the bends, for example, this is from our actual data. You'll recall this came from our, our actual data. If I adjust the bends on the histogram to have an interval of uh, one, so I'll click on the bends and we're gonna go here and then I'm gonna go to my bend width and change it from, from three to one and so there we go and now you've got something that's capping out at the 50 right and these two look a little bit more similar now okay so okay so now we're saying okay that looks kind of like a, an exponential distribution situation so now i could say well what if i used my to make predictions into the future then I can use my exponential uh, function to get a nice smooth curve that would be easier to use to make predictions with, right? So I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna say this, but now I'm not gonna use my actual data, but I'm gonna try to make my curve. So X equals arrivals, arrivals, arrivals during one minute. It's gonna be my header. And then I'm gonna say this is x, p of x, expone function that we'll do. Let's start there. I'm gonna select these two, home tab, and then we're gonna to go to uh, the font group, black, white, wrap it, center it. So, so there we have it. I'm gonna make this go from uh, zero down to 40, zero, one, two, copy that down to 40 just like we did before 40 and boom and then i'm going to use my my exponent.dist so this is going to be expone equals exponent.dist and i'm going to say the x is going to be a spill function again so i'm going to put my cursor on that zero control shift down selecting the entire thing control backspace back up to the top comma lambda is going to be one divided by going to to the left we want to pick up that six which is the enter arrival time in minutes comma and then i'm going to scroll to the right just so we can see what we're doing here we're looking should it be cumulative or not we do not want it to be cumulative therefore we're going to say uh false or we can put a zero close it up enter spills it down selecting the whole column of zero home tab number group and i'll percentify it adding a couple decimals and and so there uh so there we have it now if we compare that to the bins for example uh if i had uh the one here on the bins we came out to with our actual data 17 
versus you know 14 on the two the actual data was 10 versus the 11 the actual data was three versus uh the 10 11 and so on and so forth so i can then i can graph this we can say okay let's go ahead and graph this picking this up and we're going to say pick that up down to here and insert and uh, we could do another one like this again I can say let's do that and so now we've got that smooth graph using our function. let's keep it up here for now we've got that graph and I will then change the the X's to be the, my own so I'm going to go from 0 to 40 so there we have that okay so that looks good and then we might want to try to put on top of that uh, the actual data just to compare and contrast so let's go to the data again I'm going to go to the edit tab hold on not edit add and I'm going to also be putting in place the percent of the total and it's going to be the series of this series of data and we'll say okay boom and okay and okay so you can see them plotted kind of on top of each other there if i pull this down let's pull it down somewhere so it's not on top of everything else and so there's kind of our our comparison we might want a key on the right a legend a legend i'm already a legend man okay calm down so you could see so you could see you know the relationship basically on top of that so clearly in this case the exponential distribution uh, has some predictive predictive power so we might want to use that for projections in the future because it looks like it's following that uh, that pattern. So that's the general idea. Let's clean this thing up. Uh, let's make this whole thing blue and bordered. Home tab font group. I'm going to make it bordered and then drop down on the bucket. That blue if you don't have it. More colors. Color wheel. Light blue. I'm going to select these two. Control shift down. Border blue. These two. Control shift down. Border blue. And then these three uh hold on three control shift down border blue and then these two control shift down border blue let's do it oh not white with the oh man you messed it all up hold on a second that needs to be black and then i can review it spell checky arrivals arrive x oh that's no not a problem whatever get out of here all right we can make some of these a little skinnier maybe the eye can be skinnier look how skinny eye is that should be way skinnier there's no need for a wide cell to put a skinny eye in okay 